U.S. Congresswomen Rashida Tlaib and Ilhan Omar will be barred from entering Israel in an upcoming visit. The decision was announced by Israel's deputy foreign minister shortly after a tweet from President Trump Thursday urging Israel to not let in the elected representatives of his own country. Quote, it would show great weakness if Israel allowed them to visit, Trump wrote, claiming, quote, they hate Israel and all Jewish people. Omar and Tlaib, the first two Muslim women elected to Congress, have voiced their support for the pro-Palestinian boycott divestment sanctions movement, also known as BDS. Under Israeli law, supporters of boycotts of the country can be denied entry. But just last month, Israel's ambassador in the U.S. said the representatives would be let in out of respect for Congress and the U.S.-Israeli relationship. The two Democrats had planned to tour the occupied West Bank in East Jerusalem this weekend. I think in some cases they hate our country. Trump, a close ally of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, has repeatedly attacked both Tlaib and Omar. This Tlaib, Tlaib, she's vicious. She's like a crazed lunatic. And two other Democratic congresswomen of color urging them to, quote, go back to where they came from, even though Tlaib was born in the U.S., and Omar is a naturalized U.S. citizen born in Somalia. If they don't like it, let them leave. Thursday's decision drew condemnation from the unlikeliest of places, AIPAC, the American pro-Israeli lobbying group, who stressed that while they disagree with the congresswomen's position on BDS, quote, we also believe every member of Congress should be able to visit and experience our Democratic ally Israel firsthand. Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer urged Israeli officials to reverse their decision, saying, quote, it will only hurt the U.S.-Israeli relationship and support for Israel and America, and that no democratic society should fear an open debate.